CES coverage sponsored by Audible.com, where books come alive. Listen to a bestseller on your iPod or MP3 player. You can get a free trial over at audiblepodcast.com forward slash CES. Continuing coverage of the Tech Podcast Network, Jeffrey Parr from Geekazine. Of course, we are at Digital Experience here. I'm here I'm here with Brian, and we're talking about motion sensor. We got a company called Movia. You might not know them as Movia, but they, they do do the motion sensors for a company called Gyros. Gyration, Gyration, that's right. Oh, I forgot that already. Of course, if you're in the business area, you know about these mice that also become a great uh, presentation device. But we've got a great little product here that I'm going to have Brian tell you a little about. It's for those of you who really want to see uh, what you're doing in, in, in different types of motion, and it's called the Motion Pod. Motion, motion Pod. Pod. And what it, what it is is basically a nine degree of freedom motion sensing device. Has a three-axis accelerometer, three-axis gyro, and a three-axis magnetometer, and gives you full range of motion for whatever motion you want to track. For example, if you wanted to do your golf swing analysis, we have a motion pod connected to a golf club here. Pick it up, show you. And you can tell any angle you want as you're going through your golf strokes. So you can do full swing if you slice or you hook. We can help detect how you do that versus the old technology of using cameras. We now attach a motion pod to, the, to it. And if you were to demo the motion pod here, we can zoom in on the cubes. You can see the different angles. And what this shows, what this shows is as you move the motion pod around, each sensor is giving you different information. And by combining all the sensors in the upper right hand corner, you get the full accurate motion as you're moving through space with a golf club or a tennis racket or your swimming motion, which is another device we make for a company called Decathlon, okay. which is our, our uh, this is called a swimmer, tracks your uh, lap counting and everything like that. So what we make is the intelligence behind all of these devices, the motion intelligence or the motion engine. That's, a, that's amazing. These things, uh, I remember when they, they were big and they were bulky and now they're the size of almost a quarter and you can hook it up to anything, a golf club, a, a bat, uh, anything like that, where you can, you can figure out in real time what, what, is, uh, what you got there, and where, where you're going, so on and so forth. What are the price points on, on something like this? Well, obviously, these are going to be consumer price points, right? So in, in the case of this product here, you're looking at retail 79 to 99 in the case of the swimmer, I think this one's around 80 or $90. So they're all consumer applications. So the technology that we're embedding is now to the point where you can put it, as you mentioned, into golf clubs, into bats, into hockey sticks, into tennis rackets at consumer price points that are going to be very, very attractive. And consumers are going to be able to interact with their iPhone or their Droid and get amazing feedback. It's just, it's really exciting, yeah, the, yeah, the technology that's on the forefront. And even game controllers, too. Where's the website that we can get you at? We're at www.movia.com, and we're also doing remote controls, interactive television, the digital media experience. So as you mentioned, gaming, you know, your PC connected TV, your digital living room, all of that stuff. All right, perfect. Brian, I'll give this back to you. Thank you very much Thank for your you. time. Appreciate your time. Yeah. I look forward to seeing you on Geek, Geek Zone. Geekazine, thanks Geekazine. a lot. Jeffrey Bowers with Geekazine and the Tech Podcast Network at CES.